Hi guys, um, I've kind of lost my fan mojo a bit this month. I'm in a mid mid month crisis for <laughs> my art projects. Um, so the the fan has been such a pain in the ass. I've, I've kind of got a bit bored of it at the minute. I'll go back to it soon. That's next thing I'll go back to. Um, but I wanted to get something as a as a gift for Mother's Day this weekend, and I haven't done anything. I haven't got a gift yet. So this is what this is going to be. Now I hope my mum likes car parts because. Uh, She's going to get some. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I came up with the idea quite a while ago um, of using that as a, a, a stand and a stem for a, a light. Um, unfortunately, I've since seen somebody beat me to it. Um, and they did a, quite a big impressive thing, a needle brop filter uh, on top. So when I went on eBay to get my filter, um, I thought it was going to be bigger than that. <laughs> However, I think it's going to turn out to be quite a nice little table size, lamp size, so I'm, I'm not too um, unhappy about it to be honest, I think, it, I think it's going to work out nice. I kind of like the symmetry of the size as well, it's quite a nice nice and equal. Um, so yeah, so uh, you've probably seen the white line, um, I don't like to see the wires on anything really, so I'm going to try and bury the wires actually within the stem, um, so I'm going to groove that out with the angle grinder where the white line is. Um, I've already drilled the base which I did small to start and then expanded it until it uh, basically broke out the side there so it's a nice neat opening so I can get the wires down the side hopefully uh, out the bottom and then I'll cut a little groove in the bottom here just so the, the wire comes out nice and neat uh, and put a, a felt base on. Uh, within there I bought some, well the filter was about 7 quid, 8 quid on, on eBay. Um, originally I was going to use a flat panel um, LED for that to go inside it but I don't think because of its size I'll fit it in there so what I've actually ordered is uh, a meter of uh, LED strip lights they have quite a small, I'm not sure it's class of transformer or what it is but on the mains voltage ones comes with it I think that'll fit within there and I should be able to get a couple of rings of uh, LEDs around the outside to, to, to line it up um, yeah so I'll keep you posted I'm going to go and get the angle grinder out now and we'll see how it goes Right, we're getting somewhere. Um, so I've grooved out the back of the the camshaft. Um, so the the wire now sits recessed within within it. So you obviously can see it from the back, and I'll probably silk it in or something. But from the side, you've not got a piece of wire stuck down the lamp. So if that's against the back of a wall or something, you'll you'll not see any wires at all. All being well. Um, a couple of things because I like to tell you when I'm making mistakes. <laughs> um, I got the wrong wire. Um, so the one I got off eBay basically is too thick. Um, I would have swapped it for something thinner if I'd uh, had time to do it before this weekend. But I haven't, so hence the groove in that. It's quite a chunky groove I had to take out, which I'm not overly keen on. But you shouldn't see it too badly. Um, and the other thing is, never having worked with a camshaft before, it looks like it might be hollow. So it could have been, I could have actually just drilled the top and the bottom out and fed a, a fine wire through it. Uh, which I never realised or knew or even thought to look for, to be honest. But maybe next time. Right, so I'm going to get on with making the top part. Um, I'll show you how I've done that in a minute. And uh, hopefully the rest of the bits will arrive in the post tomorrow. You can tell I've had a good uh, evening session when the, uh, the bench is as bad as this. <laughs> Cannot move. So, this is as far as I've got. I'm going to deconstruct it so you can see what I've done. Uh, so I've got my earth wire. Uh, that's going to go to, say, it attaches to the, the main stem of the cam, um, but it's also going to attach to the uh, the casing at the top as well through one of the, the mounting bolts when it's all together, uh, so it's all nicely earthed. Um, I cut down a, a wing bolt. Whoops, there it is. Uh, so it's just a short wing bolt. Um, and that attaches to the centre of the camshaft which I drilled out uh, made a bit of a balls of it smashed my favourite drill bit in there so it's only a short hole but it's good enough to, to hold this, it's not taking a lot of weight uh, that just pushes the um, the base down onto the, uh, onto the stem um, and the stem sits on I think it's a shim, engine shim actually 
and the engine shim sits on a groove which I cut into the top of the cam uh, just using the angle grinder um, and then there's a rubber ring from a, a pack of rings I've got when that's on there you can't push it down it's uh, it's well firm so I actually pushed the boat out a little bit I've cut myself to an ultrasonic cleaner um, I was a bit disappointed by how it worked um, how well it worked on this which I was trying to clean for the lamp um, so I filled it full of citric acid <laughs> Um, and it's worked very, very well on the bottom. It's actually eaten, eaten loads of the metal away, and that took only 30 minutes at 50 degrees uh, with the the cleaner going. So yeah, be careful if you if you're going to acid and ultrasonically attack something like this. But yeah, so that's how we got to. It did dull the uh, the lobes quite a bit as well. Um, so I've had the polishing wheel on that, which is uh, just the old polisher. Um, but it's come up reasonably well. So all I need to do now is find some um, uh, some clear coat. I'm going to give it a blast so hopefully it stays like that and we can start constructing it. I'm trying to stop the lacquer from going milky. It's so cold in here, what a nightmare. Okay, so this is the inside of the filter. Uh, it has a inner ring, which I'm not sure we'll need to use. A ring of foam. If you're going to use a filter for your car, don't use one without foaming. It's absolute garbage. Get something decent. Uh, you want a proper folded filter. And then I've got the outer ring, which is like barbed tape. It's really sharp, actually. So I went to the uh, fabric shop today. Uh, I got a meter of this stuff, uh, I'm not sure I can't remember what it's listed as, it was in the, with all the laces and stuff, it's a cotton lace of some kind. Uh, I've just trimmed it down to about an inch wide with a pair of scissors. And I'm hoping it's going to go around the outside of this and stay there and look decent when it's done. Okay, I've got my rubber ring. Now, I'm not happy with the rubber ring solution, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Uh, not because it doesn't work, it does, does work fine, but just for, for longevity really, because ultimately if it's sat in a window or something, the rubber will rot and uh, it will cause a problem. Now, I've got a packet of C-clips somewhere, um, there must be 500 in there. The C-clips are one of the things you never use, and now I can't find the packet at all. So at some point, I'll, uh, I'm going to put a C-clip on there. I have to change the design. Basically, the big plastic washer was kind of concaved. And as it's pushing down now, it doesn't push down properly anymore. It's just not firm enough. So we're going to have to figure something else out there to, uh, to hold that down. Okay, try two. Uh, got a bit of a, uh, it's an insulation washer, I think, actually. I bent it slightly so it holds down the outside edge. In theory, you should be able to screw the centre in and it should clamp all down. He says. <laughs> Now the lights 
Uh, so originally I was going to go for one of the round flat discs uh, to sit within the actual top. Um, because I've only got like an inch depth, I ended up going for this. Now this is looking a bit on the big side to be honest with you, so uh, be interesting to see if it all fits in or not. Right, so uh, I initially planned on using a proper decent connector uh, in there, but again, because the space restrictions, uh, I've ended up using the, the, one of the chop blocks, which I don't like that, I don't really like, but um, I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, I've got a good earth to the central stem, um, and I've got a good earth which will go to the top. Um, so I don't think it'll be an issue in terms of safety, it's just um, I don't like using them, to be honest with you. Double check everything, earth to earth, neutral, neutral, alive, alive. Call me, call me paranoid and all that. Not quite finished yet, but I think we're going to give it a quick test, see what it looks like. Let's hope it doesn't blow us up. So you do a pat test. Ah. I'm not dead. Not quite finished. How cool is that? <laughs> I just finished the last few bits off and then uh, I'll try and get a better picture inside. So I've just grooved out the uh, the bottom of the gear so the wire comes out sideways and that's in line with the, the wire at the back there it's just come out, how annoying it's supposed to be glued in that so I have to lay it down now to try and uh, get that in uh, I've also felted the the base off so it, so it doesn't scratch anything so that's the uh, the finished article and so the, the wire is almost hidden can't really see it at all I did actually plan to have Walmart LEDs in. Unfortunately, the guy on uh, eBay who sold me LEDs, some of the wrong blooming ones, uh, and I wasn't time to, to send them back and get some more. There's some more on way, wrong route from a different seller. But I've got to be honest with you, I kind of like the, uh, I quite like the white ones. They make it stand out. Let's turn the lights off. It's actually quite bright. It's not really a night light as such. It could read to it, possibly. See you later, guys.